I wanted to ask you about the elections in Israel um, and a campaign ad. A member of parliament seeking re-election on April 9th is under mm -hmm. fire over a campaign advertisement depicting him shooting and killing a Palestinian colleague. In the ad, Oren Hazan, a lawmaker with the ruling Likud party, who represents a Jewish-only West Bank settlement, is depicted as a character in the Clint Eastwood film The Good, the Bad and the Ugly. Hazan's face is super imposed over a character who shoots and kills Jamal Zahalka, a Palestinian citizen of Israel and member of Israeli's Knesset. Um, Zahalka has called for police to arrest Hazan over the ad. This comes after another prominent Israeli politician, ex-General Benny Gantz, released a campaign video showing a counter marking a rising death toll of Palestinians superimposed over a video of a funeral. A second campaign ad promised that, if elected, Gantz would bomb Gaza back to the Stone Age. Your response? Yeah, welcome to Israel. Welcome to Palestinian lives of being literally dehumanized, killed, ridiculed, accused and blamed for their own deaths in, for the sake of do domestic politics, for the sake of international politics, while the rest of the world watches. When Israel massacred 58 Palestinians on May 15th last year, when the embassy w was moved, and when Palestinians continued their, their Gaza Great March of return, you know what U.S. headlines ran? They said, how dare Hamas ruin and spoil Israeli celebrations? The level of dehumanization that is at play is out, out, astounding, absolutely astounding. And it's what should make us support more, more forcefully uh, brave lawmakers like Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, like Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who are actually using, who have ridden into Congress on, on, on the power of the people who have brought them into Congress on campaigns that support human rights and a, and a complete anti-racist platform, who are actually calling out the U.S.'s policy for what it is. Now, it should not be surprising that the U.S., which is a settler colony and also maintains a racial caste system, would also frame what Israel is doing as somehow forgivable. But it's, it's, there's something to be said about media that fails to let Israel speak for themselves and take them at face value. He are campaign ads where they are promoting the murder and the killing and the death of Palestinians, even elected lawmakers, in order to get more votes. Can you imagine how precarious Palestinian life is? And when Zahalka called out Hazan for the ad, Hazan turned around and called him that literally said, this is not anti-Arab racism, you terrorist. I mean, we're talking about a double speak, and if you if you if you didn't see it, you wouldn't believe it. And so, the only thing that I would encourage is for more people to pay attention, for more people to see it, for more people to take Israelis seriously when they use this racist um, racist discourse, and to understand that the people who pay the highest price are Palestinians.